Hey guys, Two Bros came here with another video. So today, as you can see, we're playing BMG again. I've got some mods loaded up. They should be in the description below. But so the mods I have today are the uh, so Crash Hard's uh, Off-Road Barstow, and the map I'm on is Crash Hard 2.0. So I've seen that a lot of YouTubers are doing uh, stuff on Crash Hard 2.0, just racing. <laughs> Sadly, I don't think my computer can handle 20 cars spawned in. So, what I'm gonna do, I, so I have Crash Hard Barso spawned up, and I have a generic Blue D series spawned up. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to send the Blue, uh, send the D series down, see how it does, and then I'm going to send the, the Barstow down. So, here we go. I always forget how slow this this truck is. And so there's jumps, which I'm going to try to avoid, but then you know how life works. What you try to do never actually happens. Besides, there is some jumps that you have to hit. So I found that uh, going right to the middle here was the best thing. Of course, this is my first time playing this. From the videos I've watched, the middle is the best. I still have gears question mark. Alright, so this is fun. I'm doing well. And when it comes down to that jump, it's when people don't do well. I broke my, broke my front wheels and my roof. Alright. Alright, let's turn her off and see if we can flip her over. Of course, I grab it by the door. This looks comfortable. When your head is clipping through the roof, and you can't see out the front, that's definitely comfortable. I forgot I didn't start the engine. Let's see if we can make it down. Oh, it's turning very badly to the left because it's the axle I broke. It's very disappointing. But sometimes what happens just happens, and there's nothing you can do about it. This is one of those times. So only has four gears. I always forget that, that I can look in the bottom left, but I can because I added that thing, which it's just so useful. It may not look the cleanest, but it's just so useful. Save it, save it. That's a wall. I didn't save it quick enough, and I lost a wheel. Oh, there's my wheel. Come back, wheel. Actually, can I just drop it out of four-wheel drive and make it front-wheel drive? Will that work better? 
Yeah, I think that'll work better. Of course, it doesn't count if I don't finish, or if I don't cross that line to the sand pit. Also, did I have a license plate on there? Yes, a solid nine miles an hour. Beautiful speed. It's perfect speed for racing down a hill. Don't you guys think so too? Yeah, I thought so. So this one is a no. You know what, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to floor it and then tab. That sometimes works. And so let's go down in this thing now, see if this can survive. This car is a beautiful car. It likes to fall apart. And it's got a turbo. engine falls out of your car, along with the entire front end of your car. I told you this car breaks apart really nicely, so uh, let's try this- oh, we didn't even have NOS on. Turn that baby back on. Alright, let's try this again. This time, I need to remember how to activate slow-mo. That's not how... Excuse me for a second. I had it in my old BeamNG, but I don't have it anymore. Where's my UI? There. What the? Okay, do not use. I won't use it. Ah uh, yes, advanced AI stuff. You get to go down here. Perfect. Alright. Escape. So I'll try to add some slow mo, slow mo, or cinematic if I can, uh, or if I accidentally break the car, which is probably going to be often. Using 
my nose. Good. Don't want to not use that nose. So I'll pause here, shift C to free cam. Slow mo on. <laughs> All right, let's see this. Beautiful. All right. All right, that might actually work, so, uh, pause, slow mo, off. Go back to the car and actually put slow mo back on. Okay. Slow mo is so slow, especially when you're going so fast. Yeah, I think it might hit. Nope. Looks like I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> Surprising. Unless I'm gonna hit that wall down there. Alright. Speed up. Oh. Get a good position. Uh, wrong button. Alright, so I like that even if you're free cammed, you still can like turn and control and all that. It's really, look at that suspension right there. It's beautiful. Okay, what's happening right now? Did I blow a tire? I see sparks. That's not good. Sparks are never good. Ooh. What? Oh, hey, did not expect that. I'm doing this all wrong. Apparently I can't drive, that's fun. Or control a camera. Yeah, there's nothing I can do, that wheel's already broken. Let's just look at that, I'm gonna speed it up a little. But oh, never mind. Uh, put the camera back on the car first and speed it up. My lights are falling off, though. So I know some people like full speed crashes, and some people like slow mo cat crashes. I'm the kind of person who really doesn't care. So, uh, yeah, let's see if. That 
did not work at all. Okay. It only slightly worked. I may have ripped the exhaust out and broken the drive shaft in the process, but uh What are drive shafts for anyway? You don't really need those to run a car. After all, you got two of them. Yeah. That plate, like, saved all of the damage on the roof, except the windshield and the windows. That wasn't saved. Oh, she lives. Not very well, because I need to disconnect the rear drive shaft. Does that make it worse? I think that makes it worse. Yeah, having the rear drive shaft definitely makes it better. And... Hold on. Oh, this is parking brake. Let's flip around. I can't drive. Well, they don't call her an all-terrain vehicle for nothing. I mean, what's a little jump gonna do to some specially made soft suspension? Alright. Flip around. And is she running? I'm gonna turn my engine off. She's not running. Guess it. My mans can't shift. Oh no, my coolant! Not the coolant! Wait, my radiator's not even burst. Probably because of the oil leaking. No, please stop. Let's see how far we can make it. Is that, is that just a wall? Yep, that's just a wall. Slow-mo active. I always forgot about- I always forget about that. Beautiful. Oh, the front drive shaft's broken now, too. do. We're gonna respawn this car up here. This is my favorite. Dissecting the car. So we could do this like the old-fashioned way where you turn it up to 100% and just rip things off individually. But that's boring. Just rips toe strap off. Toe strap goes flying. I wish spare tires were implemented in the game. Door... It's like you just... Rip the door off, or... You could do it the better way, which... Ah, what did I do? No, don't arm... No. I respawned it. That's fine. Alright, uh... Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Um, mouse, please don't, don't, don't do this to me, mouse. Watch this. All right. First tires be gone. Oh, that just 
that just deflates the tires. Uh, what the? You saw it here first. <laughs> and then... Hinges. There's the doors and the... The hood should have fallen off. I'm just gonna... Help it along. Where'd my head... Oh, the headlights are technically hinged. No. I just broke the turbocharger, I think. Yes, yeah, so you see, that broke off. And I dropped the turbocharger into the engine. So, uh, that happened. And then, the final ultimate power source. Come on. Where is it? There it is. Break. Alright, so then what we do is we put it on zero. Stop loading. Stop. Mm. Horrible at driving the camera. Mm. And I let it go to nine. not what I wanted to do. I haven't done nodes in forever. I think I, <sighs> I think I forget how to do them, but I used to know how to do them. What the, what two nodes are you coupling? Yeah, I know how to do them. It's just not working. So that goes up there. What? What are you attaching to? How are you attaching to those? Do it this way then. I can't click through that. I forgot about that. Sorry. I, I don't play B and G very often. And then what we do is we grab said node and we increase the strength. Oh yeah, I forgot that was two separate pieces. Just see truly how much stuff there is. Put it on 100%. I, I broke some glass. What did I do? Did I break taillights? This car doesn't have taillights though. Oh, it does have taillights. That's cool. That's fun. I feel like there's still stuff stuck on here. But I guess not. You see, it's just frame. Alright, so... This is another mod I downloaded. I think I spent most of the time just doing this, so... I'm gonna change map real quick.
if I can remember how to do that environment. Is it environment? I feel like I spent way too long on this. That's not so uh I think I have to go this button. Alright. Battery is low, I forgot to plug it in. That's why. Because I never plugged it in. I plugged in the outlet, but I didn't plug it into my computer. Go figure. So it's another this is another one I just downloaded. Car Jump Arena. If you don't know, this is a very good mod. Yes. Load faster. Load faster. So one thing I don't have. Fast loading. I, I, I know. I, I got it. I got it. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Alright, I think that's just going to be there. My battery's only at 23%. That's not that bad. Alright, so let's grab the barstow. Uh, that one. Place current. And what? If you don't know, here's what you do. Went too fast. Alright, well you wait till it goes green. Or you wait so it's green, that means go. And then you just send it. One of my favorite YouTubers says it's always a good place to end a video when a car ends up in the pool. <laughs> it's like we're ending up in the pool in all the pieces. Wait, turn the engine off. It's my favorite engine. I want it to live. No, don't hydro lock. I turned you off. Alright, free cam. Let's see if I can pull the engine from this madness. Let's see if it still works. Oh, I just pulled it out of the protective cage. That's fun. Perfect. Ah, uh, yes. Why? <laughs> uh. Right, the engine is starved of oil, though, so it won't last that long. Can I move? Thank you, game. I will. This might work. No, the drive shaft. Not the drive shaft. Oh. I broke the engine. Alright. Alright, so I forgot to turn the nitrous oxide system on, so let's turn that on and do one more jump, and then we'll end the video there, so remember to like, uh, like and subscribe, I'm going to try to save the engine, I went too fast over that, that's not the thing that happens. I'm going to try to get the engine out to see if I can drive just like the engine in the front wheels, and I popped a tire, but don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If I get... Oh no, that broke the engine. Alright. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just... Put her up here. Okay, let's see here. That's part of the frame, right? Nope! Alright. So <laughs> Sorry about the extended.
that's a toast wrap. How about the back axle? No. I need to put it at zero. Shove it in the floor. Then grab the front frame. And turn it up. And then... Perfect. That's not at all what I wanted, but sure. So now I'm going to attempt to pull the back. Ooh. Quick. Sorry about extending this. Perfect. Except not perfect because actually that should be perfect. Now, where did the engine go? There it is. I forgot I'm still on 100% strength. Right, how about that much strength? Get out of the fence! You cannot stay in the fence. And I broke the engine. Alright, this is running late. One more. No, don't right click. Alright. Just one more time. I want this to work because it'll be very funny if it works. Ah, uh, but the front drive shaft broke. Because it grabs the tire. But the engine's still running. I'm gonna just turn the engine off real quickly while I do some open heart surgery on the car. Flip it up right, and because it's a tire, the one tire's popped, I don't think I'll be able to do this, but let's try anyway. The engine's just so heavy, it makes it so hard to flip. Perfect. Alright, start the engine. Yeah, I don't think it works. So, on that note, I'm gonna end the video here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please keep watching till you can subscribe. It's all that. Bye!